we've had a lot of your music, a whole lot of your music. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, some of the inspiration and where, you know, where did the inspiration come from you know, for you to you know, produce this kind of music? Because I mean, uh, if, 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 any, if our fans have been on the website, and I'm sure they have, um, there's a whole lot of really, really, really good music. So tell us a little bit about the inspiration. Where did that come from? Well, my inspiration come off of growing up the way we grow, you know, growing up in the ghetto and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. I mean, when we say ghetto, people look at the ghetto and we say ghetto as a bad place. You know, it's a very good place. And I'm proud to, you know, to be brought up in the ghetto because it, it taught me a lot of things. It teach me to, you know, to, to observe my surroundings. It teach me to... Uh, you know, it, it just governed the whole thing, you know what I mean? Because right. we, we grew up many places, like I live many places, seen many faces as well, you know what I mean? So, and it's the same cry to get to you, it's them cry. <laughs> and it, it's just a wonderful place everywhere I go, you know? Every every ghetto, everywhere I go, I, I Trinidad, Canada, you know, New York, everywhere I go, it's just the same, same thing. And it's, it's always fun, you know what I mean? You just, more times you can't step the wrong place and mix up in the wrong things, but that's where, Growing up in the ghetto taught me, so mm. you, you know to hold us. You know, what I mean, I still don't keep a wiser, like I said. You know, right, right. All right. Well, you mentioned the ghetto, and as a, as is known, there are quite a few parts of Georgetown that people consider the ghetto. So, which part of Georgetown exactly are you from? Well, I was I was born and raised in Mid Road Penitons, you know, and mm. all boys all is our place, same because it's one ghetto. We live as family, right? Mm -hmm. So. That, that, that's how it is and I know we have a Grickle and we have Tiger Bay and all these places right. all these places is my places because I have friends and family that grow up in these places as well you know what I mean it's been eight years almost nine years since you were back in Guyana um, you know what are your thoughts and how do you see you know the changes some of the stuff that has happened um, you know all, all the, the, the little changes and all the things that happened what's, what's your perspective on it well I just I just love it because I remember coming back here for the first time after we left and went to Trinidad at the age of six or seven, mm -hmm. I left and went to Trinidad and I came back here at the age of 14. And when I came back, I wanted to go back home. I actually, like, I was crying and stuff, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I wanted to go back home because it wasn't what I was used to, you understand? Right. But, you know, we get used to it and we learn. We learn to live, we learn a different life, you know what I mean? Right. So, yeah, man. And it, like I came, when I came back in, from the airport, you know, the welcoming, like I said, it was overwhelming. You know, I'm mm -hmm. still overwhelmed by the whole, the whole entrance to Guyana and the yeah. welcoming that I got, right, you know. And we, me and Malcolm, we, we, we was driving from the airport and he started showing me the clean up, the efforts, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, you know, give thanks to everybody, big up on herself, you know, for the support and clean up the country, cause it's a good look. We love when we see our country clean, so you see it. <laughs> yeah, man. Because, you know, you know, in Canada, every morning, you can come outside and see the truck where I drive and sweep, and them have the ones where I vacuum, mm -hmm. pick up all the cigarette butts and pack and paper and everything. So, you know, we don't have them kind of things here yet, but hopefully in the near future we are going to have that. And the people, them are do it, so big up on yourself, you see me? <laughs> yeah, man. So it's, it's, it's them things I love to see, you know, the whole, the whole effort in making the country a better place for us to live in so we don't have to run to other people's place, you know. So unique, from Jamra to the universe. Elvis! Elvis. I look up to as, as I get to you, because like I tell you, so we go from the ghetto, we see positive, and we see negative, you know what I mean? I'm also going to give you all these people positive, and 